Today's video is all about faction point earnings right when the server goes up. The servers just came online. I am possibly the first person online. And we're going to swap to the bear here and we're going to eat a roast pork. And we're going to clear it. We're going to solo some camps. And we're going to see how much faction points it earns us because there is no one else on the server right now. I am the only one in the zone. Let's do this. Boom. There we go. Literally no one in chat yet. Who's going to be first in chat? I can't be first because I am muted. But uh, we'll see who's first in the chat. All right. So, because no one else is faction doing anything in factions right now, I am the only one that's going to be, you know, part of the leaderboards or whatever. They're not really leaderboards, but, um... Faction points are spread based on who is contributing to the fights, and how many people are contributing. So, if I'm the only one to down a guard here, within the first 12 minutes of the server launching, and looks like Hepexton got first, <laughs> there he is. But yeah, um, I sat here and I, I waited for the servers to start coming up, and then I mashed the login button like crazy. I'm gonna hide the text now, because that's annoying to just leave up on the screen there for y'all. But, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, just, uh, nuke this boss down, without getting hit, of course. And I am just at full HP. Man, oh man. Alright. We've almost got him. We captured this outpost, and technically we are in the running for faction points. Uh, that's all we really need to do, and killing more of these outposts won't really do too much. Though I will go to other zones and capture outposts because that way, whenever Bridgewatch does come around to capture outposts, I will be getting region capture bonus for all of these. So let's look at the map. And uh, that's not what I wanted. Faction Warfare. So Smooth Floor uh, is still captured, of course, but uh, Saddle Tour is connected to Kilmar, Goffers is connected to Vixen. So I can, I can just capture one in each zone. I'll go ahead and go to Smooth Floor and capture one of the zones. Swap to uh, Husky here. Get mounted up. And there we go. We are the first person on the server, possibly, most likely, to do any kind of faction activity. Which means, since the server just came up, I assume two minutes ago. Because it takes me about two minutes to kill that guy. And according to my recording, it, it was two minutes. Uh, in ten more minutes, because it's every twelve minutes... We will get Defense of the Land bonus points, and we'll see how much that is. But in the meantime, we're going to go capture more zones using our build. And for those that have not seen me do this before, soloing outposts, I'm using a Cultist Cowl because this ability here, Inner Corruption, deals tons of damage to a single target. I'm using Stalker Jacket because this deals tons of damage to multiple targets. Uh, Cultist Sandals because this reduces armor on multiple targets that I'm standing on. Rip Candle for more damage. That for cape for high DPS against multiple targets. Shadow Caller for life and sustain. This Shadow Caller has 5% life steal uh, awakened on it. And yes, it's an 8.4 awaken. That's right. I went Gucci mode. I went extra big loadouts. And uh, we have the life steal pork. That way we regenerate even more life. Even though I can solo the outposts without needing pork at all. I don't need to eat the life steal pork anymore. I could go beef stew. And I would still have the same kind of success. So here we are at the next outpost. I'm switching to bear. The reason I'm using a bear mount is because when I do a big pull, this thing can tank multiple hits without dying. It's a nice, big, easy to, you know, mount up mount in case there is an, a, a PvP or nearby that wants to defend the outpost. Uh, that is why I use this mount specifically. And there we go. We nuke down all the guards, and then we just give them our full combo. We dodge the attacks. Uh, Marlock being one of the easier enemies to take out, as long as you are not hit by any of his aimed attacks, he is a free kill. But if he hits you with anything, he shreds your armor and you will just melt. So that's why I'm dodging every single thing he's throwing at me. And we got another guy here that's going to help out too. Not as geared, but uh, you know, you know, help is help. And uh, he's kind of got the same kind of build that I'm doing. So that's cool. And uh, there we go. Shoot my part here. Make sure I don't get hit by this pillar. He puts a pillar. Okay, I just got hit. So you'll notice that I have a debuff now. I actually have a debuff. Uh, I have, my armor's been reduced for 25 seconds. So I will be taking huge amounts of damage. And my mount was desummoned because I got knocked out of the range. So if a blue Marlock player rolls up on me, I might be in trouble. It looks like our helper here is taking a beat down too, but we got it. Let's look at his gear. Yeah, he's got the 5-3. He's all right. He's doing his part. You know, I'm doing my part. Okay, and then that counts as a capture for this zone. And look, they're already capturing this zone here. So, 
we will see uh, we'll see how many faction points we get now I do have um, premium active I have premium active so that's gonna increase my faction points I'm pretty high rank in bridge watch I believe I am well that's weird looking that's new that's what the hell okay okay I've never seen that before that was weird that was so glitchy this is what it's supposed to look like Anyway, uh, yeah, I am Miramadon rank, or wind, I'm Windwalker rank, so there we go. Okay, where are we going next, boyos? We need to go to Kilmar Tor and capture there, so, yep. And again, because I captured this one outpost, as long as it didn't get back capped, which it's not, because the guards just spawned in. Uh, once they uh, capture this region, I'll get the region capture bonus. And uh, we have about... Uh, Seven more minutes until we get that defense of the land bonus, I believe, if my calculations are correct. And it should be a big one. It should be a big, juicy, thick, massive amount. All right. And I know other players are actively do this, too. Other players, as soon as the server pops up, they want those early bird gets the worm faction points. And uh, I just wanted to see how many I could get with premium active, because I haven't done this in a year. I honestly have not checked this in a year. I want to see if it's nerfed, because back, back a year ago... This would give about 13 to almost 20,000 faction points. Like, it was crazy. It was a huge amount. If you were just the first guy to log in and, and either dunk on someone or capture an outpost, it was basically free <laughs> free money. So, I'm making the video, and uh, you guys are just going to chill with me until we get this stuff done. And yes, I am going the correct route here. And used to, back in the day, about a year ago, I want to say, I'm not entirely sure, whenever the server reset, it reset all the faction outposts, which, um, <laughs> uh, it doesn't anymore. It apparently, well, it, it sort of did, because on Vixen Tor here, I captured this one right before the servers went down, and it gave me 1,200. So, um, I don't know. Also, is that a boss? No, that's not a boss. That's just an enchanted enemy. Why is that guy, was he using spirit, spirit caller, spirit hunter, whatever? Y you know what's funny is that uh, wearing, <laughs> wearing the satchel and with the fame week and the fame bonus and all this stuff, the enchanted tier 4 open world mobs give the same amount of fame as a 7-3 mapped mob in a red zone. <laughs> like, they really do. It's stupid. It's, it's the same fame. Tier 4 safe zone, enchanted mob. 7.3 mapped dungeon, red zone, unsafe mob. The same amount of fame. It's so stupid. I'm going to be putting a video out here pretty shortly about my uh, research that I did on 7.3 maps. And, um, okay, this guy aggroed me, so I'm just going to walk in with no mount. Hopefully no one's uh, patrolling around here. It says there's only two people. There's only one other person in the entire zone with me, so I should be all right. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, I can kill the enemies no problem. As you can see, you know, the like, <laughs> it's kind of silly that you can solo an outpost boss. I think that's just the silliest thing. But uh, you, you know, these things give a lot because it's fame week and I have uh, a premium, seventeen thousand uh, combat fame, all being converted to combat fame credits at a one point six rate. It's really nice. <laughs> it, it, it is, but. Um, I just care about the faction points right now. That's all I'm really concerned about is uh, I want to get those faction points. And dodge. More puddles. I wish I could soup this weapon up even more, but it's just not economically viable. It is so expensive to awaken weapons, and it's insanely rich. Like, bro, I, I risked my ass. I'm risking whenever I go out to, to, to awaken a weapon. I'm risking 180 million silver because the way I see it is <laughs> if I'm not wearing a full kit like this when I'm fame farming and an awakened weapon, I might as well be dead. And then you need like a bear and a tank set to escape gankers. It sucks. It is the most stressful thing I've ever done in this game is just fame farming and full loot zones. That was 18.7 thousand uh, fame right there. Alright, so normally I sit and wait for 10 seconds. It's about 10 to 12 seconds until the guard spawns, but there's only one other person in the zone, so I think I'm okay. We can go, we can go, uh, we can go touch Bronze Hill now. We're gonna go, go to Bronze Hill, capture one outpost, of course, of course, and get those region capture bonus points, assuming that no one back caps us or uncaps the single point that we capped, which most people won't. 
How is Bridgewatch doing? I'm going to wait for my uh, mount speed here to decline a bit, and then I'm going to click forward, and then I'm going to check. Okay, so Bridgewatch is they're working on Smooth Floor, then they're going to make their way to Vixen, then Kilmar, and I'm going to be in Bronze, and then I'll, I'll maybe get uh, maybe one in Felkness. Felkness is a little hard to capture, but um, yeah, we got, we got what, um, two minutes remaining. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's available, and there's probably no one in here. Maybe not. Let's run to it and see if we can get it. Now, I can't capture any zones here, uh, unfortunately, because it's not connected technically to Bridgewatch. It is connected to... Let's get this real quick. There we go. Get a little chocolate bar, a little chocolate snacky snack, and some eggs. I wish I could just find... Oh, it's already gone. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's try Let's try Felkness. Okay, let's try going to Felkness. Now, this could... I could... There could be gankers. Now, unless the gankers are geared and ranged, I have a good fighting chance to kill them while fighting the faction boss. Uh, especially now that I have uh, Lifesteal Awakening on my weapon, so... Again, this is like 9.45 Lifesteal, and then this is 5 Lifesteal, so it's a lot of Lifesteal, man. It is... It's nuts. It lets me farm certain group dungeon bosses that you normally couldn't. Alright, we got... We got like, what, 30 seconds until we can see the uh, Defense of the Land bonus. So that'll be neat. Let's go down here. This is the least likely one to have resistance from Martlock. And, uh, what is this guy doing out here? He's out here farming a 5-2 Whispering Bow. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Fi Whispering Bow sucks to level, man. Uh, I don't recommend that you use it to level. I had to use one to get all the way- oh, what do we got here? That is danger. That is big danger. Ooh, man, he's got that thing really pumped up. I can't fight that. I don't think I win against that. And he's near outpost three, so he would most likely defend it. He, he almost certainly would defend it. So when I said I could take on melee, I don't mean the damn werewolves. Werewolves are, like, the worst thing to fight in a 1v1 in the entire game, especially one that had what he had awakened on his weapon. Now, it's only a 5-4. But, oh boy, that's a, that's a tough one. I'm, I don't even know if I, like, he could, he can solo the outpost back. That's the problem, is I take this, even if he doesn't fight me, he can just come take it right back. Uh, Karn's Hill, I can, I can try for Karn's Hill. Well, or I can, he might have moved on, okay? I liked, I'm a chance boy right now. It's only a 250k repair bill if he does get me. But, uh, let's see it. Now, the Defense of the Land bonus didn't pop for some reason, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So maybe it's at 15 minutes instead of 12. Again, my calculations could be off, but we will see what happens. Alright, especially since I'm attacking a faction outpost boss near a very high <laughs> awakened werewolf player. So we gotta keep an eye out. Now, I know some of these werewolf players, they also have a Prowling Staff swap in their bags. I've seen it a lot, especially in statics. I don't know who's training these people to, to fight like this, but it's pretty damn dirty. And, uh, <laughs> what they do is they'll have a Prowling Staff that they're using for stealth, but if necessary, they will swap to werewolf staff for 1v1s and, uh, you know, to fight other players because... In a 1v1, they have way too much sustain, you'll never kill them. Unless you're like some sort of 8.4 uh, dual dagger, like, ganker. That's the only thing that really kills them. <laughs> and if they're also 8.4, you're not killing them. They have too much armor, too much health. And then they'll, they'll just heal it all back. They have way too much lifesteal. They're probably running lifesteal food along with, um, you know, their staff giving them lifesteal. And their awakening, uh, you know, modifier giving them lifesteal. That's what makes them unkillable. They don't do a lot of damage, but if you can't kill them, and you can't really run away from them, you're just dead. Like, you're just super dead. Like, I, I kind of want to try to nuke one down with, with Shadow Collar, but I doubt it. Why did that one give 21,000? Oh, it's Yellow Zone. Okay, yeah. So, Blue Zone is 18,000, Yellow Zone 21,000. So, I'm going to sit here for 10 seconds and wait for the guard to spawn, so that I don't get back capped. Because that werewolf guy could just be sitting outside my screen radius, waiting to jump in, hop in the middle circle, and cap it. Which, uh, you know, it makes the best bat cap weapon. That might be why he's out here doing it. But, he didn't. So we, we got this. Let's go, uh, let's hope, hopefully he won't recap it. If he recaps it, and then Bridgewatch later rolls through and caps the whole zone, I won't get credit. So now we can go to Karns. We can go to Karns and, uh, get a little bit credit there. 
So defense of the land bonus in maybe 10 seconds, possibly. Or it's just not going to happen until more people do stuff. I don't know. Okay, wait. there it is. See, I call... Oh, it's 15 minutes, guys. Is 15 minutes. And that was 10,000... 10,000 faction points. And what did we do? Like, it's actually going to be more than this, okay? So it's 10,000 faction points... <laughs> Um, which is, you know, that that's a free chest. That's 100k right there. We're going to get region capture bonus here pretty soon. Region capture bonus, region capture bonus, and then region capture bonus for Felkness. And, uh, those are all worth at least a thousand or more. And then in that 15 minute block, I'll get another, you know, six to 10,000 points. So let's keep recording. Let's keep going. Let's keep enjoying ourselves. You know, we're doing a little, I guess a let's play. I guess we're doing a little let's play today. But, uh, yeah, 10,000 10, faction points for just waking up in the morning. You know, when, as soon as the server gets up, it's uh, it's really early. It's still nighttime where I'm at. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad for killing a few mobs, isn't it? I mean, I think that's pretty good. Like, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I could already buy two faction chests, okay? I could already buy two faction chests right now. You know, that's, uh, that's 500,000, uh, you know, fame tomes. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I'm, I'm get I'm fame farming kind of sword. Not really. Not really, okay. And, yeah, everything, everything's pretty decent. And, hey, that's the same guy that, uh, that we saw earlier in the video. He's out here now. It's like he's moving along. He's like, he's in the same zones, bro. He is in the same zones. Okay, Karn's Hill. Karn's Hill's a special one because it's only got the three outposts and they're so spaced apart. So, so spaced apart. How much fame does this guy give? I just want to kill him and find out. It's fame week. I got a 8.4 satchel. I got to know. All right. How much is he going to give? That is 20,000. 20,000 fame. And all of that gets converted at 1.6 rate to combat fame credits. So that would be like, I don't know, 30, 40, 42,000 combat fame credits converted back into weapons. You know, that's 84,000 fame towards a weapon in one kill. Yay! Yay for calculations. Hiya! Why does, why does he make karate noises? You ever wonder that? Why does the Marlock guy make karate noises? Maybe he... I mean, he uses... He uses... Basically, he's using bear paws right now. Without the bear paws moveset. Okay, wait. I thought... I saw a nameplate in the corner of my screen, but it's not a faction guy. It, it spooked me, man. I am easily spooked. Uh, you know in Dungeons and Dragons, the alert feat that gives you a plus five to initiative and you can't be surprised? I have that in real life, and it somehow translates into video games, okay? I mean, obviously I can be ganked and surprised and stealthed upon in a video game. Uh, oh, what is it? What in the hell? Dude, you can't fight me, bro! You're too weak! You're dead! See ya! See ya, guy! Thanks for the free kill. See, that's what I'm talking about. This guy, he dismounts. He's like, oh, he's fighting a faction boss. I got this. He's in like flat six and a flat five weapon. What's he gonna do? He walked into into my lightning storm and died. <laughs> he, I mean, you know, I'll take the free fame or the free whatever, Mister Boverboom. I'll in, I'm I'm not gonna get to inspect him in time. Like <laughs> that was, that's just the funniest thing. Now if that guy was eight four, I'd be like, oh crap, we got something going on. The cool thing is that as Shadow Caller, I'm just a beefy, hard to kill boy. Like I have the life steal. I I'm not gonna run out of mana anytime soon. I don't have mobility. That's my weakness. I don't have mobility. But you stand you stand on me when I'm doing rotten ground and I'm doing this and you're attacking me while I use this and while I cast these spells. You're dead. You're just dead. And if I get a chance to swap, like how much uh, silver you drop there? Okay, 421. Not quite 420. You know, he, he was one over the, the number, the magic funny number. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We got Karn, we got we got a stake in Karn's Hill. I can go ahead and just cap the zone. If he's the only one defending, then uh, it's... I just I can cap one more. I can start the region capture bonus. Get pushing early. Get that three-star bonus here. And uh, we should be able to get that before the next 15-minute block happens. Especially if we uh, go ahead and use our Husky to boost. Now... If you're watching this on the new EU launch, you guys don't get a Husky until December. And, uh, yeah, it sucks. Sorry, guys. You also don't get a Grizzly Bear until, uh, March. Which is gonna be a whole year. But you guys can still get Polar Bears. You guys can still get the, the other Bear Mounts. 
Uh, you just can't get the Grizzly Bear, which I'm not even using a Grizzly. I'm using the Winter Bear, Elite Winter Bear. It's slightly more, it's slightly higher health by like 200. It's got a little bit more armor, but so that's it. That, that's the only like reason I'm using it is because someone gifted this. I, someone on a stream gifted me this, and uh, it's it's masterpiece. So why would I wear it? You know, just kind of showing off, I guess. Let's see if uh, Mr. Boberton or whatever his name was shows up again, like. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love it, man. You just you gotta love it. You know he tried. He's like, oh, I got this, and then he just melts. He's like, oh, this is okay. So here's the thing, right? And uh, I'm not really the biggest PvP teacher of this game. Okay, what do we got here? That guy's looking a little juicier. That's a juice boy. So we don't want to fight him. We really don't want to fight him. But we'll see what he does. We'll, we got to keep an eye on that guy. All right. Like I can maybe fight him, but I don't like fighting anything with armor shred because it'll just melt my armor and then the faction boss will like beat me up and it's gonna suck so he, he's just sitting there mounted right now he's just sitting there mounted he's like in the very corner of my screen he's waiting for me to get wounded to fight me but I don't get wounded I have infinite life steal so I think he just he didn't want to he didn't want to trouble me I guess He's still hovering around, though. He's still hovering. He's waiting. He's waiting for his opportunity. But I, I got this. I'm still watching his nameplate. Oh, I just got armor shredded. Crap. I wasn't... Wait, no, I didn't. No, I'm good. I'm good. We're good. All right, we got him. So he might be trying to back cap. Now, here's the thing, right? I'm swapping to a PvP skills. Uh, I'm still going to use these those boots. I can't chase, but... Um, he might be dis he might have been dismounted. He might be invis. Sometimes they like to invis bomb. So we'll see what happens. I forgot what we were talking about earlier. He also might be waiting for friends. If he gets a healer, that's another thing too. Okay, we gotta wait ten seconds. I'll swap to husky. And I yeah, I guess he's just uh, he he can't. I don't think he can solo bridge watch. Bridge watch is kind of tough sometimes. They have the tornadoes that run around and mess you up. All right, so there we go. I can I can I can three cap and speed up the process here. Uh, let's see. So Vixen Tor, uh, that's getting capped. That'll get capped. What is that? Oh, that's just a boss mob. You know, I kind of want to grab them just because it's good fame. You know, why not? Even though I I have you know my PVP skills on, <laughs> I can still kill this. All right, yeah, we just we just melt everything. I mean, we're freaking 8.4 and max, well, 100 spec, you know. Okay, yeah, 20k. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right. We are, uh... Now, it's risky here because he could be gathering allies. He's like, oh, we got swollen. Like, also, I, I'm a YouTuber. Everyone knows who I am, so people like to beat me up. Because I'm more of a known guy, and they could they get to be in the video. They're like, "Oh, I was in this video. And I beat him up." Like sometimes even they'll make a video about it. Like there was a carving sword guy that uh, he caught me soloing the outpost with no cooldowns. I got armor shredded by the boss. He runs up with his eight four carving, armor shreds me, and kills me in like two or three hits, and made a video about it. And I checked his channel like j just a few days ago. Did I? I didn't change my skills, so I can't do this pull. I mean, I could, but it would be really inefficient. It would be really crappy. And uh, he was getting like 60 views a month. That's all he was getting. Can this guy like drop? Okay, what we got? What do we got? It's the same dude. Now, what? What? Are, what? Are, what are your abilities? Ability, pro life steal, item power. What is up with all these juiced up five fours? I get that five four can be juiced up in a save zone. I understand that, but. It's it's five four. At the end of the day, it's a five four weapon. It's just a five four weapon. You're not really getting much out of it. Like at at the end of the day, I mean the the 100 item power makes it a five five weapon, which means it's tier ten essentially, kind of sorta. Uh, but you know you're still 200 IP below an eight four player. So let's see what he does. He's he's gonna watch me again, I guess. He's gonna he's just gonna eyeball me. Dodge this. dodge this. We dodge it. We wait for the spell to come underneath our feet. We hit the laser. And I'm confident I could probably fight that dude, right? 
Maybe. It, like, carving is very... Ugh, it really depends on their spec and stuff. It, there's a lot of factors. Alright, hit him with the boots. Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Hit him with this. Hit him with everything I've got so I can really melt this guy's HP bar. Don't get slammed around. Don't get hit by the spells. If I get armor shredded, I guarantee he probably, like, dismounts on me. He's like, oh, now it's my time to shine. Now he's just gonna hover. He's just gonna sit there at the edge, edge of my screen. That's fine. We got this, though. I mean, we literally, like, set the... We pretty much set on this fight with near full HP the entire time. I don't want to use all of my abilities to finish him off in case he does come fight, right? I want to save some of my skills. Especially my E and my R. Alright, there we go. So, this zone is full cap. Also, guys... Never, there's this scam, 300 million giveaway in 15 minutes on Twitch. Never go there, it's a, it's, it's a phishing attempt, it's, it's a fake forum post, you'll, you'll click on it to try to win 300 million, and then they steal your account. I mean, do I really have to teach you guys not to click on stupid links like that and fall for really, like, obvious scams? And, uh, yeah, there we go, we're just, uh, <laughs> uh, phishing scam, there you go. I <laughs> did my part. I did my part for today. Alright, we're waiting on the guard to spawn. There we go. There's the guard. And this is a three-star zone that we're going to be capping. And uh, we're about to get Vixen Tor region uh, cap. And we're going to get Kilmar Tor region cap. And then in three and a half more minutes, we're going to get another defense of the land bonus. And then that'll be the video. We'll see how many faction points I earned in 30 minutes. You multiply it by two. That's per hour. Of course, this only works because it's... You know, fresh, you know, the fresh server. When you're playing on prime time, you're splitting the points with everybody else also doing this. And you don't get as much. So, yeah, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? Alright, let's melt some of these upgraded mobs, you know. Why not? Just go ahead. And that's like 48 faction points right there. Why not? I could get some gathering tools. But I don't like repairing them. Because if I get downed, that's a huge repair build. Yikers. What else can I... I mean, I... It would be stupid to try to grab one in Adrenus Hill. That I would get murdered, okay? Adrenus Hill is pushing it, okay? Because that's next to that is next to a blue zone here and Marlock. That's two zones from town. It's gonna be flooded with blues. Uh Felkness, I've already grabbed one there. Don't have to worry about that. They're gonna cap this. Go to bronze. I can make my way to Bronze Hill. And then join the blob or the Zerg or whatever is whoever's pushing. It could be another solo player like me that's pushing. You know, if Bridgewatch had more like 8.4 soloers. We could, like, cap all the zones if we cord it, like, that would be the sickest coordination. Okay, region capture 1,100 right there. And then, again, in, uh, about two minutes, we get, oh, what was this guy? What is that guy? That is a transport. Dude, that's free. I, I can't get him. I can't get this guy because I don't have a catch set on me. What about this dude? Oh, it's the same guy. I think I could take, I, I feel like I could. He's got, like... His set is for doing group dungeons and statics, but he's doing the slow method. I, Dude, every time I look at a forum post, every time I look at a Reddit post, and uh, people are like, Oh, what's the best set for clearing statics? They always say Hellion Jacket and, you know, the, the stuff that guy was wearing, the Spectre Hood and stuff. No! It's a safe way to clear dungeons. It's not the fastest. It is not the fastest. You shouldn't use that set. If you care about your clear speed, you should use my set. My set is way better, except I would use Avalonian Helmet instead because that lets you AoE beam a bunch of enemies for a thousand damage. Uh, so there you go. Okay, we're going to make our way to Bronze Hill. And uh, again, we're going to end the video in like a minute. So we're just going to see how many faction points we earn in 30 minutes, guys. That's all. We're going to get that Defense of the Land second bonus. We're going to get the region captures from the other zones. And then we're out. We are out. Heck yeah, guys. Another video down the hatch, you know, 700 more to watch, right? Uh, so I started a, a gathering thing where I'm going to watch someone play like 48 hours of the new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth game. And gather while I do it. And, uh... <laughs> uh you know, be like, okay, so at the end of this whole Let's Play, this is how much I gathered in 48 hours. I might do it. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. It's not... I can't literally record 48 hours of gameplay. I don't have a beefy enough PC for that. I'm sorry. 
But um, I'll, I'll figure something out. We'll figure it out together, lads. All right, we got like a few more seconds, and then we'll get defensive land bonus. It's coming any second now. Wait for it. Is this, oh, there it is. Two, only 2,000. See? See, the first one was 10,000, and I did the exact same thing and only got 2,000. That's because more people are awake now, and the, the points are being spread out. And, uh, yeah, that's just that's just how it is. All right. So, here I am in Bronze Hill. They're capping Kilmar. Hopefully they go Kilmar to Bronze, I assume. I assume they would. Why wouldn't they, right? So once that caps, I'm going to go ahead and cap Bronze. And then they'll move to Felkness, cap that. And 30 minutes, well, we're up to 24k. So uh, that'd be 14 minus 2 minus whatever. Uh, there you go. That's the video. Thank you so much. Mwah. If you want to earn some bonus faction points, be the first guy online. And then capture an outpost. You don't have to continuously capture outposts like I've been doing. Just capture one and then log off and you're good to go. But yeah, here's uh, here's the lads. You don't have to sit here and help kill this. You just have to hit it once with an auto attack and then leave. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you. Oh, look. Oh, we got to kill this. Spiky boss. This is why you don't stay in the outpost and kill shit. This is why you roam around instead and let everyone else do all the work. How much fame is this going to be? Spiky boss, yellow zone, 268. Oh, jeez. 268,000 fame right there in one kill. And that got turned into a... How much silver did that cost me? Let's find out. That cost me 453,000 silver. <laughs> and it gave me 453,000 combat fame credits, which at the end of the day is 900,000 fame in one kill. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! There's your kiss. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you don't click the video on the right side of your screen, you're going to wake up and one of your eyes are going to be very blurry and won't want to focus. And it's going to be really hard to like read things and play video games for a while. But it'll eventually get better.